Okay everybody, thank you for joining us today for your daily workout. Today we are looking at a HIIT session, a brilliant workout that should take you no longer than 20 to 25 minutes to complete and requires zero equipment except for a timer and a space in order to do the exercises. So before we go into the workout, really important that everybody follows a basic warm up structure. So this can be done within your front room, it can be done on the spot, but walking, gentle walking for one minute, followed by 10 star jumps, followed then by nice slow control, 10 rotations forward, and then 10 rotations back. For some people you may want to warm up for longer, others it could be shorter, it could be more uh, reduced, but it's really important that everybody does follow a warm up so that we don't pull any muscles, that we don't injure ourselves, and that we are ready then to exercise. So today we are going through a HIIT session, so a high intensity workout where you'll be working for 30 seconds followed by 30 seconds rest. You'll then move on to the next exercise and repeat that work of 30 seconds followed by 30 seconds rest. And you'll complete all five stations and then rest for one minute. After your one minute rest, I would recommend repeating this, exercise, this circuit two to three times. For those who want to push yourself further at the advance, you might want to be aiming for the three to five. Those of you who are a beginner, one to two. So as you can see on the board, we have got five stations set out, five different exercises. A list for those who are following an advanced circuit session and a list for those who are following the beginner hit session. So I'll go through each exercise and I'll demonstrate how to do those and I will show you both the advanced and then I'll show you the beginner and then I'll show you what it looks like in real time. Okay, so for those who are doing the advanced, we are looking at our burpee. So starting on the floor, chest to floor, we are going to push ourselves up and up to standing. Down to chest to floor and back up to standing. Okay, what that would look like in the beginner workout is a hand walkout. Out as far as we can and then back up to standing. Out as far as we can and back up to standing. Squat jump for the more advanced. Down in squat position, nice flat back, and up. Control movement as we're landing. And then for those who are doing the beginner workout, nice control, keeping our back nice and flat, looking forward, keeping our heels planted on the ground. A bounding lunge for the advanced. Switching legs each time. And then for the beginner, our lunge, nice and controlled, back up to standing. If you struggle pushing yourself backwards, the lunge can always just be walking forward, get to the other side of the room, and going back. For the advanced, we're looking at press up, so keeping our hands shoulder width apart, elbows tucked in, nice controlled movement. For those of us doing the beginner, our shoulder tap in a press up position, but right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder, and we repeat that. And then finally, for the advanced, our sit up, down and all the way up. And then how that looks for a beginner. Sit up to hands, uh, sorry, hands to knees. And those are our five stations. So we are going to do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. So we can put that into practice. So make sure you've got space, loosened out. Sorry if I start to lose my breath. But I'll keep control. And our 30 seconds, burpees. Starts now, off we go. Ten seconds left. Make sure I get the last one in. 30 seconds rest. 
So 10 seconds till of our rest period, really important that we still keep moving while we're resting, stay loose. And in three seconds, we're gonna start on our jump squats. Two, and one, off we go. 30 seconds of work. Halfway, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. So again, still moving while we're resting. Feel the lactic acid building up in my legs. And interbounding lunges in three, two, and one. Halfway. Five, four. Three, two, one. Again, start feeling your legs getting tight. Nothing wrong with your rest period. Have a little bit of a stretch out. And then as I'm going into my press up, just gonna loosen off my shoulders again. Three, two, and one. Halfway, everybody, keep it going. Five, four, three, Two, one, and rest. Again, if you're feeling your chest tightening up, rotate the shoulders, and even get onto a wall, stretch out the pectorals. Okay, so we're down into sit ups. Starting in three, two, and one. Off we go. Halfway again, everybody. And rest. So really important now between our next circuit, we're going to take a full minute rest, we're going to have a drink of water, and then I'll judge my own fitness and decide whether I'm going to go for two or three more times. The next circuit we're going to do is the beginner's workout. Okay, everybody, this circuit, we're now going to go with the beginner's workout. Remember, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds rest. Complete all five stations, and then rest one minute again at the end. So, and walkouts in three, two, and one. I'm back up to standing, out as far as I can. So, all over body exercise, working my upper body strength, Working my core to stabilise myself and even bringing into our legs 
as we squat him back up to standing. So still 10 seconds left. Get one more in, and 30 seconds rest. Again, staying loose if you're waiting. Then we're going into our squat this time. So keep him, keep his heels on the floor. And imagine like we're sitting down onto a chair. Two, and one. Some nice controlled movement. I'm controlling my body weight as I'm going down. Halfway everybody. Five, four, three, two, and one, rest. So we're starting to sweat now. Again, you only need a small space for this. Your living room, even your garden. 15 seconds of rest still. And into lunges, 30 seconds of work. Remember if you struggle with pushing your knee back, you can always go with lunging across the room and turn. Again, everything's done nice and controlled. Five seconds left. Get one more each leg. And rest. And again, if you're struggling, if you're getting, if you're feeling your legs are tightening up, save you 30 seconds to stretch them. Keep nice and loose. We've got an angle this time for our shoulder taps, so in press-up position, opposite hand to opposite shoulder, still working our upper body, but also working our core as we transition his weight from side to side, have to stabilise. Five seconds left, get two more each arm, one, two. Three, four, and rest. Okay, let's get ourselves down on the floor. We've still got 10 seconds of rest. Starting in three. Two, and one. Remember, it's just gentle crunching up. Hands to touch our knees. And back down. Still working our core. If you want to make it a little bit harder, just pause and hold at the top. And back down. Halfway. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Okay, everybody, so that's our advanced circuit and our beginner circuit. Now, you could look to repeat that two to three times. Those of you who want to make it harder, you could think about progressive overload. You could increase the time in which you are training, reduce the time that you are resting. You could potentially count reps per set and see if you can match those or even beat them on your second circuit. For those people at the beginner, if that was too intense, you could think about reducing the amount of time working to maybe 20 seconds and increase your rest time to 40 seconds. Really important as well as the warm up is the cool down. So once we've finished our circuit, just nice gentle walk around the living room, moving around, 
and take a full stretch off. So bringing our right arm across the front. So we have done a lot of upper body work when we've been doing our press ups, the shoulder taps, as hand walk out, and across. Ideally we should hold each stretch for around 30 seconds. Those of you who are feeling tighter may want to hold it for longer. And again, just rotate in between. Arms around his back. We're just going to gently retract the shoulder blades and let it stretch our chest because again we've all been doing press ups or shoulder taps. Holding for 30 seconds, longer if you need. Okay, now onto our quads. Hand against the wall to stabilise yourself. Grabbing our ankle. We're just going to gently pull that back and feel it stretching in his quad. Again, if you want to get a better stretch, you can try and push your hip forward. Make sure you repeat on both sides. And then down onto our knees, so we're going to go left knee down on the ground. His right leg at a right angle. We're just going to gently just push our hip flexor forward. Really good stretch for those people who spend a lot of the time sat at a desk. Often we get really tight here and it can cause lower back problems. And then again we switch sides. If you want to make it harder, you can go and try and stretch over to the other side and feel it stretching down into your obliques. Then onto our hamstring stretch. So we're going to show two variations. We can do it standing, keeping our legs straight. And we're aiming to stretch the muscle here at the back of our hamstring. If you want to make it more advanced in this position, I can lift my toes up and I'll feel it going further down just into the back of my car. And for a more advanced stretch, we can go on the floor. And we're just out and we're just again aiming to grab his ankles. We don't want to try and pull his toes back because it'll change the stretch. Nice and gentle. Again, holding for 20 30 seconds. And then once we're done there, Let's stretch off our calves. I find it better if we go against the wall and we're just gently trying to push our heel into the ground. And then switching sides. And that's his workout done for today. So if you still feel tight after this session, go through that stretch routine again. Do some gentle walking just to get the blood flowing and keep moving. Good work everyone.